excellence in sports entertainment. Pro wrestling talk from the four corners of parts unknown. This is That Wrestling Podcast. Welcome to That Wrestling Podcast. The good bad guys of wrestling podcast are back talking all things of the week that was in professional wrestling. Guys, I hope you all had a great Thanksgiving to our listeners or viewers. Hope you had a happy Thanksgiving. Uh, any anything of note happened to you guys over the you know Thanksgiving break for you, Joe, off of work and and uh, uh, you know Jay, just the holiday itself. Anything of note? I, I've got new, two things of note. New Metallica. That's new one of my song, two things. New record, new tour, and it is wrestling related because. Metallica have they've used Metallica songs for pay-per-view videos. Yes. Yeah. So, and and if you go back uh in the archives about 3 months or so, uh we, we had a bit going off the rails about Drew uh coming back and all the Metallica puns that we threw in with it. So yeah. <laughs> it, it, sad but true. That. Sad yeah. but true, it, it did happen. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, Triple H and Stephanie. The yeah. the memory remains mm-hmm. that we did that three months ago. Triple H and Stephanie attended the Metallica show I saw in Pittsburgh this past yeah. Uh, summer. Yeah, this past August. So yeah, it it it, it all goes right there. Uh, Joe, anything of note to to share on the break or no? No, but not after no. I can't you didn't go to that. Boston, loser. I didn't go to Boston. That's true. Um, That's the true. Lions loser. did not win. Uh, oh, my yeah, one, yeah, my horrible. one week of being a Wolverine fan, uh, they won handily. That was awesome. <laughs> they did. They did. Can't stand the Buckeyes. So it's like that's one thing. It's like as a Spartan, it's like hey, you know what? I I'll be a Wolverine for one week because I can't stand the Buckeyes. So I did love that Michi- game. Didn't Michigan State play Penn State? They did. Yeah, that, that didn't matter. That didn't. Uh, what, oh, that no, that now it doesn't matter. Yeah. Now, how did that go? No, nothing uh, else matters. Went just sorry, fine with no. me. Actually, it was a close <laughs> game in the fourth quarter, but uh, Penn State had some late touchdowns to win by like 19, I think it was. So, yes, I got my um, Michigan State Bull shirt. It's just a plain white t shirt. So that's about it because they're not going to a bowl. That's the bull shirt. Uh, <laughs> that's the bull shirt. It's the Daniel <laughs> Bryan special. Yes. Yeah, it's the Daniel Bryan, uh, Brian Danielson, Michigan yeah. State 2023 Bowl game shirt. Blank well, white. we'll we'll see if Kevin, uh, he's he's not joining us as of yet. Hopefully, any minute now, we'll see uh, what his thoughts were on his. Uh, well, I got Spartans. my report cards done. I mean, that's like a big deal for that yeah. Nobody cares. Nobody cares. Nobody cares. Nobody cares. We don't care, <laughs> but it is a big deal. Uh, <laughs> but guys, um, you know, the uh, we're, the three care. of us we're we're gonna roll on since Kevin isn't here right now. Maybe again, we'll get his thoughts in a little bit later. Uh, but I think we got a fun stuff uh, planned for this week, and we got some cool stuff to look uh, back on and then look ahead to as well. Uh, but of course, we start as we always do with what are you wearing? What are you wearing? What are you wearing? What are you wearing today? Today? What are you wearing? What are you wearing? What are you wearing today? All right, I will begin. I've just got the the classic. Hulkamania shirt and it has a tie-in with our five count topic and it's not one of my choices but uh it'll all make sense when we get to that so just a little teaser there for you uh, oh, because he up. you got it already go ahead if you no i'm not gonna say it i'll wait oh, okay all right no all right. spoilers fair enough fair enough none uh, go ahead there uh dancing man fandango did Dirty you buy Dango. that? He is yeah. back. He is back in wrestling. He just showed up on Impact. He's doing some stuff with the Major Brothers with their uh, FWF. <laughs> uh, yeah, I just was like, yeah, let's let's, run, let's bring out Fondango. So that was one you got like in the heyday yeah. of him. Yeah, okay, yeah. that's that's amazing. Yeah, I just don't. I, I think it's cool. If I yeah. if I was skilled, I would be dazzle. All the yeah. lights <laughs> you could, to make yeah. it even better, uh, <laughs> but just a regular Fondango shirt. Uh, no authentic tag, no authentic yeah. tag. It's fine as it is. And Joe, yeah. uh, I'm going with the AJ Styles phenomenally done shirt. 
for the shocking fact that I was so the only one the only one to choose him to win mm, at Survivor yes, Series, did. and you guys were all like, Oh, it's Valor, it's gotta be, it's gotta be. And I'm like, I'll stick with uh, AJ, and I was right. That's so good. Nobody cares. Phenomenally done. I care, and that's all that matters. You're the one. How'd Fandango do at uh, Survivor Series this weekend? <laughs> oh, wait, he, <laughs> he was the Major Brothers. He was on that's Impact great. Hard to Kill or whatever the last Overkill. show they had. Overdrive is what it was. Overdrive, Overdrive. yeah. Overdrive. Yeah, he's he's all right doing the thing. Um, oh, well, let's take a look back at Saturday's night's uh, Survivor Series War Games, a show that, uh, from best I can tell, universally praised. Um, highlights included, I'd say, Becky's top of the cage leg drop through the tables in the Women's War Games match. Austin Theory regaining the U.S. championship. And uh, also, of course, the cementing of Sammy Uso in the bloodline. He saved... Roman Reigns from taking the loss to his former best friend, Kevin Owens, and Jey Uso seemingly accepting Sammy with a huge hug after Jey picked up the win. Guys, what were your your highlights and if you have any lowlights of Saturday night's show? The main event was perfect. Nothing wrong with it. No. I laughed when, which apparently became a thing after the fact, Owens slapped reigns yes and then reigns slapped owen and then just pushed him down like i just thought it was hilarious and the main event though was absolutely perfect loved it loved it loved it uh overall a plus pay-per-view for me yeah a plus I would give it an A. The only reason it's not an A plus was because of the Rousey uh, chassis match. <laughs> I'm sorry, you can't. A plus is perfect. That means everything yeah. works. Yeah. That one, it for only being <sighs> seven minutes long, it felt like the longest match. It of the did. Night. You know and what it did, and it, to me, I was like, hey, whatever. You know, like we all knew it was going to be a dud. We all said it was going to be. Mm-hmm. So yeah. we had low expectations. Oh, that one! That one was rough. Um, it, it was tough to, saying what the best match was because they were all so good. Like I love the women's war games. I'm like the men are going to have a hard time topping that, but the men's war games told a better story. So that's why yeah, that was like yeah, physical and perfect. The ending, it's like my wife already went to sleep uh, by the time that was over with, and I just when they embraced and hugged, and I went perfect, perfect ending. Yeah. And you could have been there. Your wife <laughs> wanted to not, go. She wanted to go, but we could not have been. We go. could not have been there. You we could had have other been plans. there. It, it was just like I could be Batman, Joe. You could have been at Survivor Series. Yeah. Well, she's already asked. It's like because of uh, winter break, she's going. Uh, where's WWE going to be at uh, during winter? They're break? in Michigan. Go. We don't. No, believe, we don't believe it. We don't. They're believe in it. Michigan. We hear, for we, hear it. we hear it. I looked it up. I looked it up. How many times are we going to hear it? Know, you want to know where they're going to be? You want to know where they're, they're going to be? They're going to be in Detroit, Cleveland, and Columbus. Hey, look at that! A little road trip. A little Ohio road no, they're trip. They're going to be in Detroit too. No, they're not. Ohio, I think they no, they moved. Detroit is in January. They're doing a smash. Usually they do. Jay, you're right. Yeah, they usually do it the day after Christmas. Like the 26th is usually at Little Caesars or Foreman Joe Lewis. But yeah. now it's going to be Columbus. And then two days later, they're going to be in Cleveland. I'm like, well, you Columbus go. is three hours and Cleveland's about an hour and a half. So we're I'm thinking flip- about it. Uh, the one that has the best, because she wants ringside because that's the way it is. Uh, the best chance for ringside <laughs> out of the two shows is um, Columbus. Yeah. Let me ask you this. How many times Welcome are you going to Welcome Kevin to the show, by the way. How many no. times will you disappoint your wife, Joe, by her wanting to go to wrestling and you not actually going to wrestling? You this is like there. Brian was, disappointing me an, over and over again. How many not wanting to come to WrestleMania. <laughs> yeah, not wanting to stay in a hotel in Michigan if SummerSlam <laughs> is there. And have any of you went back and watched the video? The utter disgust in my face I when Brian's like, that. I live 15 minutes from there. I laughed uncontrollably for about you should 10 have minutes. Done a, you should have done a close-up of your going in slow motion like, uh... I'm going to yeah. try to keep us on track and get back to Survivor Series because we could go off and on about about that. I, but uh, I do want to see that video. No, but AJ, um, AJ yeah. and uh, Finn Balor, great that match. Was fun. Great match. Yeah, it, great. Was a, it, was, uh, it was better than the U.S. Championship. I think the U.S. Championship match was the second worst, but still Oh, no. Wow. wow. I love that match. 
No, no, I, but five matches, two war games, AJ and Finn, the US yeah. championship. Okay, yeah, match, I guess. And it, it's right. the second worst, but it's like an A to a D. Yeah. Ugh. I got gotcha. you. I, Thanks, I love the triple threat match. Um, great mm-hmm. spots. How about Lashley doing the hurt lock on both of them at the same uh. time? That was great. Um, Seth doing the multiple back and forth dives outside the ring like four in a row i love that and somebody said it um a clean win for austin theory it it was kind of convoluted how i was thinking that maybe what i predicted was seth hits stomp on lashley theory throws out seth gets the pin but instead it was seth with the suplex spear from lashley and theory with the cover but it's clean um I was so impressed with that. And yeah, I mean, what can you say about the main event that, you know, me guys, I'm a production guy, the camera work of when Sammy held the ref's arm to stop the <laughs> they, recount. They wait, they sat on that for way. Oh too long. my yeah. God. <laughs> and, but then the look on KO's face, you know, the look from like yeah. behind Sammy and their look on Kevin, like looking at him. Holy cow. I popped for that. I popped so much. And, um, Kev, we'll, we'll get your thoughts before we kind of continue on with, with I, I wanted to get more about mm-hmm. the story of, of the Sammy Bloodline fun, but just the, your thoughts on the show overall. Did you also pop for uh, Rhea's booty in that match? <laughs> no, no, okay. no. Uh, no, I, 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 I agree with Joe. Well, Everything you said, hundred yeah. percent. I, I can't even say it better than Joe said it. And I'm not even being sarcastic. I, I, I agree with the women's match. The the triple threat, it's 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 sad to say it was the second worst, but with what? you know the the other matches were so good, and I'd rank both war games both phenomenal. I watched them the next day uh, with Brett, uh, and he uh, said EO is crazy one, and then I paused. The, no, the, Meacham the, is the crazy. Premium live that? event in Korean, yes. And I was yeah. like, <laughs> Brett, you have to see EO at the trash can. Yeah, no, I was missing a view. EO we trash pers- cans. We proceeded to watch the clip like at least 15 times because he's like, why does she wear the trash can then? And I'm like, <laughs> why, why shouldn't she always wear the trash can? I know. I thought I thought it was it was fantastic. And it was fast. It was a very quick mm-hmm. three plus hours. Very so, fast. Did any of you have issues with the the new war games rules? The fact there was no roof like the originals had. Yeah. No, I didn't Any, care. It's no. more like the NXT-ish war games, right? It's yeah. more yeah. Like what we know as WWE, not war games of WCW. And I like that. And throughout the, the show, Michael Cole bringing up things of the past, like, and he talked yeah. about that when they go over the rules, like, you know, while, while it's changed through the years, this is what this is with the violence and, you know, the, the, the teams uh, all going against each other. So yeah, it's, it's and not the same as the, uh, the old NWA stuff, but um, yeah, it's fine. Cause just for the spectacle. And I love, you know, they got the War Pig song from uh, Sabbath. They've got like the the smoke and Ozzy, that, Ozzy yeah, and Yoko. O- Ozzy was there doing the video, mm-hmm. and that uh, rig announcer Samantha Irvin, she's really good. You know, when the when the bell finally rings and they're all in there, she just let loose like the War well, Games begin. Well, she did the men. <laughs> Alicia Taylor. Oh, okay. Who is a f- friend? Did she's the NXT announcer. Gotcha. She, um, they were both good. <laughs> well, acquaintance, yeah. I would say friend, acquaintance. Uh, sure. Totally. Yeah, she did great. The highlight, though, Kevin Owens wearing the shirt with the elbow, with the elbow pad. Like, ah, that was, yeah. that was some good tribute, thinking yeah. there. And interesting that Roman was the only one not wearing red. Mm hmm. So they yeah. said originally he was going to. But there, you know, he's the he's the leader. So yeah, well, he doesn't he need to wear what the troops wear. So great though, good times, good times. Yeah, great show. And also and we interesting keep- was before War Games, Triple H tweeting the video of Regal saying War mm-hmm. Games over and over again, going like "miss you," like you know whatever he said, "miss you." It's like it wouldn't be War Games without whatever he said. I'm like, okay, and that will go into uh, 
AEW this yeah, week. Yeah, yeah, we'll touch on that too uh, in a little bit, maybe some foreshadowing. Um, but guys, yeah, we've we've been speculating really for weeks about you know what's happening with Sammy and the Bloodline. How is he going to get kicked out? And he's going to cost this or whatever. Uh, KO and Sammy versus the Usos at Mania, but he's now a full fledged member in the family. The people love it. I don't know what direction they should take this next. It's been so good. Does anybody have any inkling of, of where it's going or what they want to see? Um, the, the, obviously, if you're listening to this or watching, you see that the title of the show is Usi Hugs. Um, <laughs> where it's going to go? Who cares? Let's just ride it out. It's great. No need yeah. to think about it. Don't overthink shit. Just watch SmackDown tonight if you're watching on Friday. Enjoy. Enjoy. And as far as WrestleMania goes, I don't want to see The Rock. Are you now? Is that a change for you? Because I've been starting to feel that uh, way too. I thought it was the way to go, but it's right. It, there's more. There's more. It doesn't make sense. For, for The Rock to show up because he's not going to win the title. And if he does, that's fucking stupid. Right. Um, but, you know, you could have Sammy, you know, break off from that. You know, a lot of people think maybe it's KO one night, Sammy the other night, and that's how they split the titles okay. from Roman. But who cares about April? Let's, let's right. worry about right now. Yeah, guys, any other additional thoughts? I'm I'm fully behind Jay's. <laughs> Just let it let it play out, let it ride and enjoy because it's been nothing but gold. I, I don't want the crowd to stop chanting Sammy Uso. That's, yeah. I, yeah, I love it. And in in it gets so loud. Like if you if you if you take him out, of course he will have super super uh, support from the fans, right? But the bloodline's cool. If oh, you want to make them true heels, turn on Sammy. You know how many boos they would get? Like if they all just destroyed them one by one. Uh, but right now it's still, it's still like on Facebook, right? Don't, uh, don't add advertisements because it's still cool. I, I bloodline is cool the, with Sammy. Did you watch right that now. movie this week? Because it was on over the weekend. That's the only reason. It? I, yeah, I, I watch it. Whenever it's on, I watch it, but I haven't, I did not. This the weekend. network. Yeah, social, social network. network. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Social right. network. Okay. Um, fuck, I had some. Oh, so earlier today, there, I, I was reading that there is a show coming to Puerto Rico in a stadium right before WrestleMania. Are you ear you know ear earmuffs there, Brian? Uh, Kevin, no you don't want to hear about the Puerto Rico show? It says Carlito going to be in there. No, it's going to be Bad Bunny and Rey Mysterio against Dominic and Priest in the main event, which will then lead to Dominic and Bad Bunny at WrestleMania. Oh. <laughs> but Are you I bring this up, up or do you really hear this? No, no, I, I bring oh. this up because Sammy once had an alter ego. Yes, he did. El Generico. And Fair. when Fair. El Generico, the last seen of him he was working in a puerto rican adoption uh place like a, like a orphanage somehow i don't know who owns el generico fuck man have sammy come in the el generico mask at, at the puerto rico show <laughs> like a one-off like Juan, remember juan cena yes, Leon yes. Cena's <laughs> mexican cousin <laughs> let's do that let's do that for one night only. that could be fun one night only J uh, Joe, any other Juan Sammy Mayo. bloodline <laughs> thoughts of where it goes or where it wants to go for you? I think they should just ride it out. Like yeah. we were all like when New Day had came about that we were just like, you know, when are they going to break up? Because and they never did. So why break them up? They're cool. Let it let it play out. Let it stay together. Why does it have to have an ending? That's negative. Roman's going to be champ for 17 more years. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Look out, Bruno. He's coming for the record. Um, yeah. I, it's, it, it always seems like it's had little peaks and valleys of like, hey, maybe this is the time. And 
they always recover and it's been so good these last couple of months you know what's so, gonna be it's gonna be like uh roman leaving he's like sean of dx and then you watch sammy's just gonna take over <laughs> <the bloodline. Sure. laughs> or it. jay or jay uso he's so good yeah. so good he's an amazing promo he's just amazing when they're in the ring with just his emotion on his face and he's great in the ring too him and kevin owens on raw was fantastic yeah. um and yeah. jimmy's just the cool one yeah yeah he's he's going along for the ride and and like you know is happy that it's all happening with i Sandy, really wanted but... solo to do the hug i'm glad he didn't but i was like come on oh yeah yeah nope. the crowd was begging for it and they were just like uh-huh. <laughs> nope. yeah it's like trying to get vince it's tr- like trying to get the undertaker to do the spin rooney it just yeah. wasn't gonna happen yeah he's definitely the wild card in this I- i've seen some he is little brother I've, I've seen some uh you know online theories of like oh he's the one you know he's so quiet on the inside he's gonna do something but I'm <laughs> it's like that even... episode of the simpsons like homer watching the uh japanese mafia guy it's like yeah. oh he's you know he's gonna do something cool yeah just you gotta wait he's yeah he's gonna do something so you guys on... still watch the simpsons new no no well i try to watch the treehouse halloween one that's right. the one new one i'll try to watch but no it's just you know okay can't can't beat the classics though um so yeah on monday night raw we saw the fallout from saturday we had uh kevin owens he pulled he pulled the i'm not mad i'm just disappointed in you card and that's even worse than the i'm mad at you card right as so a he, teacher <laughs> yes it is i say yeah. as, <laughs> as parents have you used it yet or are your kids too young no i've used it <laughs> yeah? yeah i'm not he, mad in a, in a roundabout way i have yeah yeah do they get I, it do they understand what that means? Brett's smart. For me, it. it's it He's goes, an emotional kid. It it goes to the like Harper, you know better. And it, it usually relates to daddy doesn't want to yell, but he yells when you're bad. So don't be bad. Like <laughs> you know, I try to put two and two together there. And it usually gotcha. doesn't work. Um so yeah, he, he but he reminded Sammy, you know, you're not really family, no matter what's going on. Uh, so that happened. It looks like we got a, a Bailey and Becky feud. Uh, no word if Becky's buddies uh, from the audience, Bob and Zach, will be at ringside. We'll see. That dude was so drunk. I was Zach hoping. was hammered. Zach? I was so yeah. hoping. Oh my yeah. god! For yeah. something, Bob. I don't know. Nice. I don't know what I wanted, but I just wanted something. Bob enjoyed life. Zach, he was- did hammer oh yeah. i was so hoping yeah geez now remember i watched that three hours after you guys so i i was like god i i feel like if something would have happened yeah one of you would yeah, have yeah. said jay you're not gonna believe this you got like i think yeah. kevin's done that before and <laughs> but i've done really it. i've gotten a lot better because now I'm you Monday, have if we do you chat have. i look is there a three in the in the in the back <laughs> or the That's number smart. two yeah yeah so we had that um also in one of those like hey if you're not looking at the tv every moment you may have missed the bray wyatt symbol uh flash behind alexa when they were doing the interview backstage with bianca and oscar it kind of clearly hypnotized her i missed uh, it did you okay yeah i had no idea that she was just standing there pissed off at yeah at the other four it was just right at the very beginning real quick um you know, guys, the whole Alexa Bray thing from a little while back was certainly a mix of highs and lows, I would say. Um, but all all of that that I mentioned, KO, Becky, all that, Alexa Bray, um, thoughts on Raw, anything that really stood out to you? Kevin's waitress. That's what stands out to me right now. You're Kevin, muted. you're on mute. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Try again. And I, but I didn't say it. The thing with Alexa, like even sometimes, you know, when she's walking to the ring, you'll see a flash in, in, in the in the jumbotron, Titan Tron. Uh I t- I totally missed the one uh on Monday too, because it flashed up and actually I had to go back <laughs> when when the uh the the show notes came out. I don't know. They have to do it the right way, and I don't know what the right way is. That's the biggest thing. Cause I don't want it to be stale, but she is looking darker at times, but correct me if I'm wrong. A lot of times Oscar's also with her when that happens. Right. Sure. 
maybe throw in Asuka. I don't know, or both. Mm. I, I just don't want Alexa to fall into the, well, she's become stale. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. And a lot of the things. I hate it. Like, I, I, I hate it. Something because she's like, she has a great look. She's an amazing wrestler. I thought in, in war games, she, she did she did well in the match. I just feel that she's probably weak link. Uh, like when you're just as good as Mia, or is it Mi Chin back? I don't even know her name. It's both. Uh, yeah, but, Mia Yim. Mi Chin, that, Mia Yim. Yeah. I don't know. I, I just hope it's, I hope they do something creative. Yeah, you got something going with it there. Because right. it's got to be something good. Because uh, if it fails again or they fail her again, I don't know, man. There's no going back. That's That's the thing. And they just gave her that pop punk music like a couple months ago. That's yeah, lame. That was they the deep five uh, count change the theme songs. That was one of my picks. Yeah, <laughs> they should use um, the Bowling for Soup Alexa Bliss song. <laughs> no, the high the highlight of Ross. Yeah, that should live forever. Zachary is the Miz taking the hundred dollar bill. Oh from the yes, kid in the crowd. <laughs> I do have that in my notes. I laughed, I laughed so hard at that. Like I love it. I, <laughs> the first thing I laughed at was the first one that Dexter gave the hundred dollar bill to the kid. Put it up to the yes, to bro, and then his dad did, and then his dad uh, did. I, I'm like smart kid. And then the last one, That's awesome. and Miz just sneaks by and takes it from him. It reminded me of Million Dollar Man with the bouncing of the basketball i'm like <laughs> miz is the ultimate hero hero to me he is a heel no one is bigger than that you stole a hundred bucks from an eight-year-old awesome. and you didn't care it was that so well was... done i don't know if it was a plant or not it was so well done i i joe they i'm gave, with you 100 i know gave him the like... money back so yeah. it probably right. was not a plant but yeah. it was amazing i was <laughs> that was I, great I, like that's like a highlight of the year for me one of them yeah yeah that was great jay any other or uh raw thoughts on on your end no yeah. um you know it was a good show i enjoyed it yeah, yeah. you know it this isn't you know i'm not getting no you know, I'm not, you know i'm glad nobody is just sh- shitting on it for the sake of shitting on raw that's how it used to be joe no no it anymore. was meant to be it was it was deserved it was well deserved and the t-shirt sales have proven that it worked. <laughs> yes. <laughs> we you we did our contribution. No. Um, yeah, on to AEW. And due to Thanksgiving last week, we recorded early, so we couldn't talk Dynamite. Uh, but we got to chat about um, we got to chat about last week in Chicago, uh, where we Man, do we though? Yes. For okay. for one thing. For one really? thing. Really? Yeah. We had the elite death triangle. It was match number two. And the Chicago crowd, we, we talked briefly, like, oh, what's that going to be like? They they let it known they were pro CM Punk and F the elite. And the, but elite, the crowd was also pro elite with some fuck CM Punk chants. I didn't hear that. I did. You heard that? Okay. You yeah. could have been piped in. Who cares? Who knows? Wait, wait. Um, breaking news, Kevin. Can we get the uh, sounder? We have breaking news. Wait, let me dust it off. Here we go. Chicago loves CM Punk. End of story. There it's it like is. it doesn't matter. News and all back to our regular schedule program. So, what, whether the crowd you know, had some some FC and Punk stuff, the point was the elite. They played right <laughs> along with it. Oh, of okay? course, bunch of digs. <laughs> They're about pros, punk. right? Right. They they faked. Yeah, that they couldn't do the buckshot lariat, just like Punk. Kenny, I lost it with Kenny biting the arm <laughs> yeah. like a steel, and he even hit the GTS too. Um, I think, but Jay, then he tweeted Kenta afterwards, right? And right. said, "Thanks for letting me use your move." <laughs> right. So that's that's a great wink, wink. I love that. Um, I think Jay, you sent over like Booker T on his pod. Thought this was a yeah. real bad look for the elite and AEW. Personally, I enjoyed it because they knew in Chicago they were going to be the heels and they played it up to be the heels. So you well, guys agree on, with me? I thought so. I thought it was great. On on Monday's being the elite, they talked about it. They were like at the airport. They're like, we don't know what we're going to get tonight. But, you know, and then at the end, they were like, you know, for those that are with us, great. You know, we appreciate it. And if you're not, you know, you're not, but they, they did address it on VTE, which okay. isn't part of the storyline, but 
you know, it kind of is, you know, it's not on TV storyline, but you know, if you watch it, you'll pick up stuff that, you know, like them acknowledging ahead of time, we don't know what we're going to be like, Mm -hmm. but it was smart not having MJF in Chicago. That was the big one. That was super smart. Not even having him there. WWE did it for years. They did it for years after CM Punk walked out. Heyman came out to CM Punk's music. Uh, they chanted Stephanie. CM Punk, they chanted it's... CM Punk to Stephanie, and she went, "Oh, is he going to get knocked out in two minutes again?" <laughs> you know, like yeah. they they acknowledge it's. You just got to play to the crowd. You let them have their fun, and you move on. If you ignore it, they're going to keep doing it. You know, like children, which CM Punk said he worked with, and they proved that they were, but they had fun with it. Kids are allowed to have fun. And that's what wrestling is for, having fun. It was kind of an interesting because there was a story uh, I think Kenny did with Sports Illustrated that was kind of like, guys, we can't talk about it. I suggest we all just move on, you know, whatever. And then later on, they're blatantly doing every little thing to just, you know, wink, wink, nudge, nudge on that. We know what is really going on. I, I'm going to have to watch that back because I want to hear how commentary uh handled that because i'm sure they were losing their shit i think um, they were saying ref how is that not a disqualification at one maybe. <laughs> ref's discretion ref's that discretion. was wild so this week uh we did get to hear from mjf first time since full gear uh winning the championship thanks to the brass knuckles of regal he talked about the email that regal sent him and talked about how his championship reign will be and at the end he turns on regal He knocks him out. Regal's stretchered out. There's, um, we alluded to this earlier, there's conflicting reports from Meltzer and Mike Johnson and Sean Rossap on if Regal's heading back to WWE. Like you said, Joe, Triple H played the the War Games compilation. Um, But again, getting back to MJF, guys, did did you like the promo and did you like the Regal turn? Eh. I thought the promo was good. I thought it was what it was supposed to be, but it was also he lost me when he said, I'm not going to wrestle. I'm like, you know, going to just only do pay-per-views. I'm not coming like, you know, he's. I'm going to be as part-time as can be. Like when he was doing that and I went, you're AEW. You're already a part-time wrestler. You only wrestle really once a week. Yeah. You don't do house sure. shows yet. So it's like, when you say that, I'm like, mm. and his stick is the bidding war of 2024. I get it. Calling out uh, jolly old St. Nick and trips and maybe he's not going to go there. I liked all that. But then when he was saying, um, there was one point I'm surprised Jason didn't send us a text message when MJF said, you're only going to see me wrestle on pay-per-view, but you're all too cheap to order. So I was expecting <laughs> you to send us something from that, but didn't well, I was, I was way behind. So but, I, I didn't want to send anything that you know I've i just didn't want to am text messages from you before waking up the next yeah morning. Well, i don't care i don't care yeah, about no. that um uh, real quick though um well kevin do you want to talk about this because i have some my, a little sidebar uh i want to bring up about aew um so kevin if you want to talk about dynamite then i'll say what i gotta say after yeah kevin he is your boy i'm, I'm i want to hear what you got <laughs> So the year is almost over, and I have a list of all of the new AEW talent from 2022. Mm -hmm. So um, what I will do is I will say a name, and you can say, you know, go back to our, what was it? Sign more guys, sign the right guys. All right, yeah, so it's either right or So we'll say more more guys or right guys. Uh, Dan Housen. Right, guys. More guys. Wait, wait. What? Which one's more? More is good. Should more we just say bad. yay or nay? More is bad. Just thumbs up or thumbs down because you yeah, can't figure okay. it out. I'm so confused. <laughs> okay, so uh, thumbs up to Dan, Dan Housen. Housen. I'll say down. Buddy Matthews. Down. Down. Jeff Hardy. Down. Well, down. Well, you Wheeler down. Yuta. Oh. I'll go up. Uh, Young, yep. Athena, down, down. Still there. Soraya, 
I'll go up. TBD. Yeah, it's early, but I'll go Willow up. Willow Nightingale. Who? Uh, Willow down. Nightingale. Down. Down. But again, TBD. I like yours yeah. on that one, Kev. Uh, Kanoska. His name Tekeshka. looks like Take a Shitta. Take a Shitta. Yeah, he's good. <laughs> <laughs> I say that every time I see that guy. Take a Shitta. I think he's a good signing. I do. I think he's, he's yeah. really guy. talented. I like him. Uh, Bandito. Make it quick. He's yes, he's up. talented, very talented. Up, Renee up. Paquette, thumbs up. up, thumbs up. Parker Beaudreau, down, mm, down, oh, down. Wardlow became official in 2022. Uh, well, uh, he's been there. Doesn't count. Yeah. yeah. Well, no, because he wasn't really okay, anything fine. until okay, this fine. year. Fine. I, I, I take definite one of the best. Tony Storm. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I'll go up. Well, she saw William him. Regal. Up, up, yes. Thumbs up. AQA. I don't even know who the fuck that is. I don't know. Who down, that is. down. Too many Brody, letters. Two thumbs. Brody, down. Ki- Brody King. Oh, oh. he's dead. Uh, but down, he has but, like well, the House of Black aren't doing anything. Fair. But they're well, back. so they're good, back but, he has, but they're back. They're back. Now. Okay, they're back. Okay, then. Uh, and up close to mid. AEW tweeted about the revival of the House of Black, which led to Dax. Like revival, oh. you say. Mm-hmm. Uh, Jake Atlas. He's been gone down. Yeah. 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 Good. Legal thing. Keith Lee. Dud. Up. It's Swerve. Yeah. Up. Up. Yes. Up. Paige Van Zant. Down. Down. <laughs> down. <laughs> Samoa Joe. Up. Go, up. go up. Claudio. Up. up. It's not a big up, but it's up. Roosh. Mm, I go down say, right now. Down. Jeff Jarrett. It's early, up. but up. it's too early. Up. We all now. just said yes two weeks ago. We can't be hypocrite and yet. Yeah, I, yeah. I'm all in on Jeff Jarrett. Yeah. I know you and, are. Uh, the last one is Ar Fox, who I don't know who that is. He, he was, was just, he, he wrestled with last Joe. night against Samoa Joe. Yeah, another uh, high flyer. Uh, he's guy, a, he's again, a really flippy early. flopper. So yeah. I'm gonna say down for now because I don't see him doing anything. Yeah. So I just named off a lot of people. That's a lot. Yeah, a for lot. one year. They need to just stop with the XWWE guys. I really feel like that's the that's the thing. Just unless it's Sasha, stay away. Don't so, bring any money over. So I didn't have time to look since you brought up Sasha. I didn't have time to look on this. Um, does anybody think they could see that's where this Jade and Bow Wow story is going. <laughs> oh, AEW and their obsession Sasha? with half-ass rappers. Right. So Who that's the fuck's it, Trina? It's a Where's very Trina. It's a very weird one. Like, I don't are they gonna do an intergender match? I wouldn't think so. And that would be hilarious if they did. But you, you know, guys might be a little bit more hip hop. Well, Mercedes and, I and do. Snoop are gonna does, be in the Does match Bow Wow together? and Snoop have a connection? Yes, when Bow Wow was a kid, Snoop brought him out on the Arsenio Hall show. Okay, well. It was his first national exposure. Okay, so I wouldn't rule that out. I mean, no one knows what's happening with Sasha. She was at the Celtics game the other night and not at war games, but she was back in Boston. But well, she's from there. You, you know, the exactly. AE yeah. crowd going wild. <laughs> Going mild, but that'd be pretty. Wild. Wild. Yeah. Uh, uh, I mean, from Bow Wow to bringing in, like, yeah, I'm not gonna fight you, but I got someone who can, and uh, yeah, money, I mean, be money, great. Mercedes or whatever she wants to trademark comes out. That that'd be pretty cool. You know, I almost got what I wanted on Raw, or I mean, uh, Dynamite from Jade. Remember last week, I said she needs to ditch the dummies and just become yeah, a yeah, full she blown them. baby face. Yep. I was like, oh, my God, I'm going to get it. I'm the smartest human being alive. And then I didn't. She looked you're like not. a billion dollars. Yeah, they need my to make that as an action goodness. figure. That was I That's was, the chase figure. They took off that for... robe and had that money bikini outfit on. I went, yeah. my goodness, you were in shape. Um, by <laughs> the way, did, did, any, <laughs> did anybody have any strong feelings either way for the Burberry belt for MJF? It's too dark. It needs yeah. to be brighter. I can I see really it in thought, your background, Jay, and I agree. Yeah, your ear really, I really thought maybe this was the time for him to back off the Burberry. Mm. He's the champ now. 
He didn't wear Burberry to win the title, um, but the the video, the entrance video, it still had, and obviously the Burberry belt. It is what it is. And the Burberry uh-huh. uh, carpet um, walking down the ring, too, instead of the red carpet. Did you reach out to Brutus the Barber and see if he ordered it yet? The Burberry title. You know, he's a belt guy. <laughs> I know. I, I told him. How, hey, how much is it? You got a new one that you're going to have to get. Uh, but I don't. I don't know if he's made that move. Well, they did not. release the their the tag yeah. titles are on a pre order right now, so they're available till January first. So maybe he'll grab a couple tag belts, and uh, yeah. you know. So if a typical title was three hundred, a Burberry one would be thirty five hundred. Yeah, if it's real Burberry, I can just be a nut. <laughs> I mean. Yeah. I mean, my my scarf alone costs five thousand dollars, and I mean that's real amazing. Burberry, so amazing. Um, let's do quick <laughs> two. <laughs> <That's coming. laughs> it's um, eight dollars on Amazon. Yeah, <laughs> we're playing it up. It wasn't even Black Friday. <laughs> <laughs> uh, two quick notes on SmackDown. Um, Santos and Ricochet they go off tonight oh, for the winner of the World Cup. I can't wait. I'm yeah. so excited for that match. I really I'm, am. I'm going Santos. I think so. This is this is the time. Right? Especially with Mexico getting eliminated from the World Cup today. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, yeah. it will put it's it's more meaningful if Santos wins. If Ricochet wins, it's like he's so close to to winning a big one, right? Make make something he of it. He was already the US just, champion, like twice. Well, yeah, but but memorable? No, no. That's that's what I mean. He needs something like King of the Ring type situation. Let him win the World Cup. Yeah, we know how well that did for uh, Xavier, Xavier Woods. Woods. Well, <laughs> hey, yeah. well, he did so well. They're gonna make it a pay per view. We'll that's, that's the rumor. Um, but hey, yeah, I'm just happy that if it goes that route, that maybe we can do some. Legato versus Imperia matches too, because you got the three on three dynamic right. with that. Well, and, and that either way, it doesn't fun. matter because whoever's going to win is going to get slapped, they and it's just going to be a beating, and it's going to be awesome. I think I think Escobar could be the one. To, be to pretty, beat I mean, he's really Gunther. good, but I such a fan. Have he's, you heard the really rumored good. match at Mania with Gunther? Brock That's going, making the rounds right now. Brock versus Gunther at WrestleMania. That would be awesome. Jay, I, be, I, just booked, I, I booked my flight. <laughs> that, that would be a, that'd be pretty cool. That's what takes it. Flat. You know, not me. Yeah, not hanging out with a friend flat. of 25 nope, years, nope. but hey, whatever. Nope. Yeah. Su- suplex City versus Chop City. Suplex that would, that would slap. Do suplex slap. They could do that for 15 that minutes straight. That would be fun. Um, and how about... I, I, um, I actually ahead, want... Jay. Brock and Roman at Mania for like no, the fifth no, year in a no. row. <laughs> you know what? That would be fresh. That would be. New. I want it. I want Here it every is. time. Every time. Here comes two forklifts. <laughs> we're lifting the whole damn stadium. No, we're saving that for SummerSlam 2023, Bry. Yeah, they're they're gonna lift up Ford Field. You when we're what? staying at the hotel That's down that. the street. Yeah, they're from lifting the, up the uh, hotel. How about both? Yeah. I don't think they've ever done WrestleMania, and then they did the match at SummerSlam too. Let's do a both. Oh. Give me let's, Brock and Roman. Let's Sorry, think yeah. of something else. Yeah. I think I've seen Brock and Roman. I think I've seen it live like four times. Yeah. Twice this year. Twice yeah. this year, yeah. Uh, two two manias, right? You went two to mania. Dallas and, and the San <laughs> Francisco mania. one, which was that's yeah, 30 mania. With, 30. with Seth. That's and then yeah, three manias. That's three, three manias. manias. WrestleMania was this year. One. Yeah. And then Dallas. WrestleMania, yeah. what was that? 33. And then 32 it was, uh, was in Dallas. 30, oh, 32. 32. But that so was Brock and Dean Ambrose. That wasn't Brock Roman in, in the uh, first Dallas. Oh, Brock Roman was um 31 in New Orleans. Okay. Yeah, I didn't go to that one. But I've seen it twice this year. And I'm all in for six more times next year. Give it to me all day. All and day. you were at the uh, the Crown Jewel mud in Saudi Arabia when they you're like the, you're like the the give it yeah. to me, give me what I want. <laughs> give it to me. Yeah. <laughs> the other uh, SmackDown the... note. Oh, sorry, buddy. Go ahead. No, go ahead. Go ahead. The other SmackDown note. I wanted to uh, just get some quick thoughts on uh, Bray Wyatt. Last couple of weeks interacting with LA Knight. Did not expect that. That's an love odd it. pairing. Um, I love it. Okay. I like it. Well, that's good because love it. you were very 
you know, wishy-washy on the Bray return. Well, so Bray returning this. still is doing nothing for me, but I'll take this, this interaction. It's fun. Till, you know, till January, I'll take it. I don't care if they never wrestle. Just beat each other up and keep burying LA Knight under shit. So. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the more LA Knight on TV, the better. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Great. Yeah. Love to see where that's going. Um, quick question too that Jay threw at me that I thought was really good. We're, we're under two months away now since we are here in December. Uh, Raw 30, January 23. Just a quick question that I, I had to give some thought to. Should Vince McMahon appear on the show? Live? No. Video? Oh. Thinking the fans? Yes. Nope. Not live, at all. Live Not at all. trying to get yeah. into the building like Bobby the Brain did. Uh, <laughs> yeah. And he's like in a dress. Yeah. 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 <laughs> like, like do that a few times. He's into that type of humor that and he just hilarious. can't get in. Oh, no. That's what I would want to see. What but, if what if somebody opens the door and it's Triple H and he says, You're just not allowed anymore? Dad. Sorry, pop pop, can't do it. <laughs> Jeez. Could you imagine? The only I'm thing sorry, you're I not on the list. I could the only thing I could see him doing the show opens. He's already in the ring. We don't even need to hear no chance in hell. And he no, just comes on that. and says simply, Welcome everyone to Monday Night Raw. And then they roll the credits. Vince is gone. And uh out comes uh Alpha Academy for Street Profits. Who cares? Right. So um uh, but That's I don't know. How you I, start you know, Raw 30. No, I, I I don't. But I say anything. But after moving on to Vince, we we get into the show. But it's nah, tough. I'm good. It's tough. Is it Not though? What does he add? Oh. Nothing. He adds the crowd doing this. He started well, they're it. idiots. They're idiots. I yeah. Where's that it? show at? Where's that show at? Do you know? I mm, Philly. Is it New York. I'll look it Is up. It Philly. I want to yeah, say I, Philly. You know, Vince. The same idiots that are doing this are the same ones that were talking shit on Vince when the investigation was happening. No, so I know, and that's the big thing. It's um, it no is yeah, it's Wells Wells Fargo Center Philadelphia. in Philadelphia. Um, but yeah, I mean, I went back and forth on it because I think when they had their last earnings call, I think they said the the Vince nineteen million dollars, nineteen million dollars. That's tough to sweep. Tough to sweep under the rug to say, "Come on back, Vin man." So. It won't. Yeah. I, I'd lean 70 30 that he's not going to be there, but I wouldn't rule it out completely. Next. Next. Uh, let me get my notes as I peruse the Wells Kevin, Fargo um, Center stuff. You weren't here. What did you think of uh, the new Metallica song and the tour and the record? And what are you thinking? One, uh, I like that's a good song by the dude. Yeah. <laughs> I, 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 I dig it a lot and it's fat and, and it's three it's minutes. Quick. It's quick. It's a three minutes. It's, song. It's, it's done before, before it really starts. I, uh, I love it. I love it. Uh, Lots Lars, I, I heard a, a pretty funny thing on Sirius that Lars came out. Uh, he, he was on Howard. I'm really glad mm -hmm. that nobody, uh, uh, released it before it was released right uh or or like found it and he's just like you know i still have those napster dreams Get over <laughs> <it>. <laughs> yeah he was on with howard i don't i'll have to go back and listen because uh, i think that would be a fun listen uh but i was just curious what you thought I, I think and the I, tour is tour is brilliant brian and brilliant. i both got tickets in our respective cities for for the two-day tour um, extravaganza yeah brian yeah. you got me a ticket right New, new zoom who dis <laughs> yeah. i pulled that you know kev I, oh, I have two tickets no no Ryan, i have two you have tickets. to go Where's kevin? The forum? kevin you're on mute no oh, it's so so football stadium oh, yeah so this year i'm gonna be at wrestlemania i'm gonna be for two nights i'm gonna be at metallica for two nights at the stadium and i still haven't been there for a football game <laughs> they play football there too? In, yeah when's it at in california it's like august, august 25th think, and 27th right? just saying yeah very nice. Kev, we will cross I, that bridge when we get there. You want to come to Detroit, <laughs> come on up. We'll figure out a way to get I mean, he lives 15 minutes from there, Kevin. 
That's right. I got a place to stay. And yeah, stuff you like can that. sleep on a couch. Technically, my mom lives in a hotel room. room. <laughs> <laughs> and your sister. That's probably better. better and the sister. For you. Kevin's sister, also known as Trent's mom, will be driving him in the movie. <laughs> if you're not coming, I'm hitting up your mom about driving me to, uh, to <laughs> sister, his sister. Or your sister. sister. Yeah. Sorry. Sorry. Yes, you're right. Um, okay. So getting into this week's five count. So since full gear, the elite have been using carry on my wayward son by Kansas as their theme song. And we kind of joked last week about other 70s songs for themes. I know, um, <laughs> you whip, whipped out the, the sticky note like, we all got it ready to go <laughs> joe, joe i think had like more than a feeling by boston he, he mentioned um so i thought yeah hey why don't we actually do that as a five count so this week's topic 70s classic rock songs that could be wrestler theme songs that wrestling podcast presents the five count So this should be fun. You, you guys can hear me, right? I'm off of mute. Um, yeah. This should be fun because this was a, a random topic I had right before I sent out the rundown. And, and right before we recorded, we were like, this was good. So I think we're all pretty excited to share our five. <clears throat> Who would like yeah. to go first? I'll, I'll go, go first. first. I'll Everyone go second. Wanted to. I was waiting. I'll, I'll go, go third. third. I'll no, go you're first. going second. Go I'm ahead, going Jay. third. Go ahead. Because okay, go. my list is going to smoke all four of yours. Uh, number one. Or I mean, number one. Number five. I don't even know the order. Yeah, we're, we're, we're confident. Start me up, Rolling Stones. That guitar riff in the beginning, that would be a great beginning of an entrance uh, song. Number four. Well, hold one on, of, Jay, Wait, who hold gets on. it? Did you give oh, it to we were a supposed to do who? Yeah, 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 yeah that, that one's it. Oh, uh, yeah. So I'll go yeah. first. No, so hold <laughs> you, you go last now, Jay. Maybe I'll give you some you time to, to you marinate. You have to sign it to... Yes. Yeah. I'll, I'll, show you, I'll show you how you're we supposed to do it. By the way, what are you wearing? Joe, no, but, yeah. I finally am uh, joining you in uh, wearing the Edge Summer I Slam almost wore that shirt. tonight, but he wasn't on this week, and I had to go uh, with, since I chose AJ winning that Survivor Series. Go ahead, Kevin. Shocker. Okay. Shocker. Number five. Number five. I chose Aerosmith Dream On. Oh, I thought about he that. Cut four, I, know, four, I had it on there. Or Cameron Grimes when he makes his official main roster debut. He's got to keep the dream going. Okay. Uh, four, okay. uh, Black Sabbath, Sweet Leaf, Riddle. It's oh, about Marijuana. that's a good one. That's <laughs> a good one. You can't go. Uh, and this list was inspired by the elite. Uh, so I put Thin Lizzy, The Boys Are Back in Town. I thought about that too, Kev. Good job. Van Van Halen, one off for MJF. Next pay per view, Running with the Devil. Like and then that. number one, Queen, Fat Bottom Girls, Nikita Lions. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's good that's good wow All right, i'll go now uh at first up. by the way i was like what the hell am i gonna do and then i'm like wait was that song in the 70s i googled it yes it was damn it was in the good 80s job. and i'm like i was like top 100 songs of that's rock what i did metal top 100 uh rock songs of the 70s is what i looked yep, up and I saw what I'm like boom all right, All right. Got? Uh, I'm I'll ready. Go. I'll, okay go ahead go ahead all righty I'm ready. Number five, start me up, Rolling Stones for Jeff Jarrett. That's Number because of that four, guitar at the beginning, right? My favorite, one of my favorite songs ever. Um, I don't know if any of you know who Randy and the Redwoods is, uh, but that was this was one of his songs, uh, "Spirit in the Sky" by Norman oh, Greenbaum. Sure. Oh yeah, sure. Randy the Redwoods was a MTV creation that they would okay. run in between. And he made a song. It's called Either Way, It's Fine With Me. Yeah, he was the, uh, he yeah, he was the hippie. Glad, he was like, yeah, yeah I love, love it. Uh, for Dude Love. Spirit in the Sky for Dude yeah. Love. Uh, number three, White Punks on Dope by The Tubes for Sting and Darby. I have, to, I have uh, to pull that song up. Yeah. Number two, The Runaways, Thunder for Thunder Rosa. And number one, Speedball Ricochet by T-Rex for Ricochet. Okay. Okay. <coughs> There's some there are ones I have to look up on that one. That's good. I was gonna say, yeah. All right, Kevin, I'm oh. mad at you. I just gotta say it. My number five. Thin Lizzie, the boys are back in town. Lame. For the OC. Okay. 
Sure. Nice. Uh, number four, <laughs> Smoke on the Water by Deep Purple. Riddle. Nice. Nice. Uh, number three, this one I think would be cool. Lights go out, crowd gets into it. Behind Blue Eyes by The Who. Dexter Loomis. Oh, like that? That, that one would it. be cool. Uh, Kevin, I hate you even more. Number two, Running with the Devil, Van Halen, MJF. Oh my God. Be in the, the devil. same position. It no, should be Shout at the, the Devil. Well, is that, uh, is that 70s? 70s, or? 70s Shout at the Devil. It's, it's with close. 80s. It's close. Who cares? Who cares? And <laughs> number one, Blue Oyster Cult, Don't Fear the Reaper, Joe Gacy. Ooh, okay. That's an odd choice. Not an odd choice, but a, a guy I wouldn't have thought of. Agreed. I wanted yeah. to. I That's wanted nice. to give. I wanted to do main roster, AEW and NXT. I wanted to yeah. find a way to get all three of them in there. So I'll wrap it up. My my first one is really for multiple wrestlers could use this. Uh, some of the ones I I thought of for this song: The Dark Order, Fuego del Sol, Dana Brooke, heck, and even for you, Jay, Matt Cardona. The song "Even the Losers" by Tom Petty. <laughs> Even the losers get lucky sometimes. <laughs> All fits that. Number four. How about Ricky Starks? Let's go with You Ain't Seen Nothing Yet by Bachman Turner Overdrive. Guy that we all think has a lot of potential. Let's go with that. Uh, number three, Zelina Vega. Now, this would be going back to uh, not what she's doing with uh, Legato now. but when down she the was, house? No. <laughs> when she was um, Queen Zelina. Let's give her Killer Queen by Queen. I, I don't think that fits Charlotte, but I, I see her having a little more uh, of the, the sass that fits for that one. Nice. Um, number two, Bray Wyatt. And he's got these very dark themes and slow and whatever. So I, you could take your pick, but uh, the two I had were uh, Comfortably Numb and Time by Pink Floyd. It just seems like it fits his slow entrance. Number one, I think this one just fits for a T. I can see like the the video package now of all the clips of this lady. Mandy Rose, Sweet Emotion by Aerosmith. She's just sultry. She's got that look and just that that, you know, that bass that brings you in doom, 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 like right to a T. Okay. That booty that keeps you there. That's number one for me, man. Sweet Peach. emotion. The pe- yep. Yeah, could be as peaches. Otis would say, but president of the United States. <laughs> so peaches in a can. The <laughs> millions of maybe. Oh yeah, peaches, peaches for me. For me. So, uh, off the uh, top you of my head, light bulb. Me. Maybe we'll have to create a show Spotify playlist with these twenty songs, or I guess eighteen, because I think we had a couple of repeats of our yeah, se- thanks, Kevin, seventies wrestler theme songs that we <laughs> we came up. Well, um, throw, throw in fun. Anarchy in the UK for the Brawling Brutes, and then you'll have 19 right there. There you go. Yeah. And next week, we'll do the 80s theme songs. <laughs> well, you know, we're down to the last few I know, we're, shows we're, where exactly. the five count before it goes away into retirement. So, yeah, yeah. We'll put that on the back. Yeah, 24 we'll 7 championship. Cut. Yeah, no, uh, last, no, the last week is uh, we it's a fatal four way. We uh, with us four, we all have to design uh, who would be eliminated first and who would win for just throwing that for out us, and then for... we will hate each other Aww. for the Iron Survivor that the Iron... podcast edition. <laughs> you're, you're in the penalty box for 90 seconds, I think, is one of the rules of that match. We'll find out. Uh, all right, that, that's fun one, man. That's this week's five count your five count let us know on social media using the hashtag twp five count oh and i i almost forgot yeah the reason again i teased it where i was wearing my my hulkamania shirt was because the hulkster when he was hollywood how about shout out for using voodoo child by Jimi hendrix that was the best so there there was a 70s rock song i i had to acknowledge with my my shirt here tonight um all right, so let's get into the NFL picks. Uh, by the way, Kev, since you joined late, hey, how about that Lions-Bills game, huh? That was, I mean, I know it wasn't the result you wanted, but that was a hell of a game. It was the result we deserved. It's yeah. the result that is tradition. <laughs> but, like the the tradition. But, I did, game. but I did win $50 off that. But it was oh, the same thing. The same thing there. happened this game, happened last year, game-winning field goal at the end. But the difference is 
Super Bowl contending team versus last place Bears team beating us. So there's a like there's hope. There's okay. hope in Detroit. Yeah, but you know there's uh, video footage that came out of one uh, Brian Christie cheering for the Lions. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> there, what there we, was we all saw it yeah and my... uh are you jumping ship to the oh, blue God, and no. silver no but i i i can't my, well, the my... way things are going the lines are going to be the top five pick thanks for the rams yeah no i'm just you know i'm surrounded by lions fans at the the thanksgiving dinner and my wife stealthily <laughs> recorded me in those final moments so i'm not going to be a, a jerk why ruin a Thanksgiving? But Harper had picked the Bills, so I was secretly rooting for her, mm. and uh, it all played out. It actually was like, um, you know, like the, the classic movie scene of the field goal that the Lions made to the, to tie the game, was it? To tie the game, yeah. Okay, they tie the game. My, my wife's aunt and uncle's cable goes out like a minute later. I'm like what? And it didn't come back on until the the Bills had the winning field goal, and it was like, what happened? So, I'm like, uh, how did they blow this in 23 seconds? But well, Josh Allen they found a laser way. to Stefan Diggs. That's what we found out in field goal range. Yeah, that's all it took. We so, all thought. In any event, uh, getting to the football picks. Uh, so the kids went an even two and one last week. So Brett still has a three game lead. Uh, he is at a record of 19 and 14. Harper is 16 and 17. Uh, again, Kev, I mean, 19 and 14. Brett has got a nice little uh, run of a couple of weeks now of mm. some really good picks. He, uh, it, it, like I said, I watched the, the Facebook videos from like two years ago. Yeah. Yeah. It's almost on the memories mirrored where Harper was up almost the same amount. Wow. And then Brett came from behind to win this week. Th- th- these weeks are, or these next three games are, are so close. The spreads are like two, two points each could go either way. Yeah. Great, great teams visiting weaker teams could go either way. Brett could this- go up six. Who knows? Yeah. Yeah. We'll see how the picks shake out, but yeah, some, some weeks lately, it seems like we're kind of hurting for like, uh, I guess this third game's okay, but this week we have some really good ones. It's Titans and Eagles, Dolphins and 49ers and Chiefs and Bengals. So three fun games that the middle of the picks uh, shake out uh, really could go either way, no matter what, who they pick. Um, so we'll keep you posted on that on the Facebook page this Saturday. And uh, that's about going to do it for this week's show. Next week we can chat. We're going to have uh, NXT deadline. Uh, that show will be coming up uh, the following weekend and AEW winter is coming is uh, the following Wednesday. So we'll be uh, able to look ahead at both of those big shows. YouTube.com slash that wrestling podcast at that wrestle pod for all the socials and what a maneuver.net for your merchandise. Hey, maybe if you haven't started your Christmas shopping, there's this website. What a maneuver.net. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. Enjoy wrestling. We'll talk to you next week. Thanks for listening. Follow That Wrestle Pod on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and YouTube. One, two, three, that's it! Thanks for watching That Wrestling Podcast on YouTube. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. And for more That Wrestling Podcast content, follow at That Wrestle Pod on social media.